This video will show you how to keep parents and guardians in the loop with your Google Classroom. Found in the People tab, you will see a list of all of your students, and next to them, you may see some that already have their parents' email address. Simply, that means that their teacher in the past has put in their email address, and that is now linked to that student for every year moving forward. If there is a spot where you can invite guardians, you can do that should you choose to use the guardian emails. All you need to do is simply click Invite Guardians, type in their email address that you need to get from the parents, and then click Invite. That will then send the email to the parents where they then choose when they want to receive the email, how frequently, or if they need to change the email address that they are receiving that at. Now, to control your guardian summaries, you go up to the settings, and in the general section here, you will see it says Guardian Summaries. It is typically toggled off as the default, so you will need to click it and turn it on. It will ask you if you would like to add the classes that you teach to Guardian Email Summaries, and you will simply add the class. Once you have done that, the parents then are going to start receiving an email. The email that they receive will include what the missing work is for their student, any upcoming work that has a due date, as well as any new class activities such as announcements, assignments, and questions. Here's an example of what that email will look like. At the top of each email, all classes will be combined for any missing work, as well as any upcoming work. Any new activities such as assignments or announcements is then broken down by each Google Classroom. So if a student has more than one Google Classroom from teachers, they would have all of it in one place when they receive it as a parent. Once you have decided if you want to turn off or on your Guardian Summaries, you do need to click Save. And now your parents and guardians will start receiving those emails to understand what's been going on with your Google Classroom.